Hi guys, welcome back once again. So this episode here, uh, it's getting close to time to go do some trout fishing here in a little couple months. So I've seen some guys making uh, what's called landing nets out of just some strips of wood. These are three quarter, by eighth inch wide. And you end up taking, uh, oh, some do four or five. I'll probably end up doing six. Just give me three quarter wide. Build a form and then bend them into the shape and put a net, make a net out of it. So uh, we can go on this one and appreciate you again watching. All right, we're gonna cut our strips here on the bandsaw first and then we'll take it to the sander, take them down to eighth inch. So we've got a uh, walnut and maple that we're gonna make this out of. We got all our strips cut down three quarter uh, by an eighth inch wide. And so the next step, you can steam these or well, I'm just gonna do is soak them in water for a few hours. Uh, we got our extra ones here, so we'll just throw all these with some water and then work on our form a little bit and see if we can't get these to bend. All right, we're going to cut a piece of maple here for the handle. Um, it's going to be pretty thin here in the middle, but we're going to have those layers of the strips that are will bulk this part here, but up back up. All right, we're getting ready for another glue up. On the first one there, you probably noticed that I put in the form first after I pulled it out of soaking, uh, bent them, then took it back out of the form, then glued them, and then put it back in the form. So the only problem there I had is, man, once you have that bent shape, they're, they're just hard to put glue on. It's just a mess. So I'm gonna try it this way. I just pulled these out, dried them off. Um, I think it'll be fine, so we'll get some glue on these and then uh, get it in the form. All right, so we just got through soaking these for about four hours in hot water. Um, before I just towel dried them and then uh, glued them up, but it's just too much moisture yet. So and the method I found working better is to let these dry out in the sun for about, oh, maybe five, 10 minutes. Just get this moisture off, get it back to where it's just dry wood and then glue it up. All right, we let these dry just a little bit, not very long, maybe, oh, not even probably about five minutes a day. Just want to get it back to where you don't see that moisture in it. Um, they're still pretty pliable. So these are easier to glue up when they're flat. When you go, when you pre-bend them without gluing them, then try to, then take it back apart and then try to glue it up. It's just a real pain trying to get glue on here.
Next, we're gonna take and cut the, cut off right here at the handle and cut this material here off both sides. center slot here to where we thread it in for our Dacron thread to go inside here. So I just marked the center line here and then I'm going to adjust my bit to center that. Alright, so for depth, you can obviously buy the slot cutter with the washer that's specifically made for these, but I just picked this slot cutter up here at Harbor Freight. Uh, fairly expensive, actually comes with different sizes. This is a 1 8 inch. Thick and we're just probably gonna go. Oh, I kind of like to keep it to where I don't get into the maple here. So I'm just barely gonna go, probably since these are quarter, probably barely gonna go a sixteenth of an inch. So the, seeing this little idea here too works pretty good. And just um, you could put a bearing on there, but you can just use a block like this and strap that on there to where just the barely tip of the blade sticks out. All right, I'm getting ready to drill the hole. So one of these ways, kind of got this off the YouTube, one of the other you know, YouTube videos is take a piece of tape. Our first, our first holes, we're gonna go every three quarter part and then on center every three inches. So our first hole is gonna be right here, right at that point there. Just gonna mark the line there the tape and same thing over here right there on that corner the second hole is going to be three quarter from it I'll mark it up and I'm also going to mark the center from center to center and of course my phone's up there I'll have the calculator on it but uh what we're gonna do is take the, it'd be 42 and a half. And we're gonna divide it by the number of, on this uh, net here, we've got 15. So we'll divide it by 14, because we're already starting, we're gonna end with one. So we'll just need to divide it by 14. And where I got a three quarter between is on these loops here. Um, we'll put two strings on either end of the loop. And where I got three quarter is that right between end ends, right three quarter inch. All right, we're going to use a 764 drill bit, is what I'm using. Uh, you can go. A little small, whatever size you want to use. Just make sure you're big enough to get your string in there two times. So, all right. So, got all hose drilled. So, on the inside, I'm just going to take uh, like one of my counter sinks and just barely, barely touch it, just to kind of. Right, we can use uh, tongue oil and finish and probably a coat of uh, water-based poly. All right, we've got all the handles made. So we're gonna sew in the nets. This is the net here that I've been using. Lashing I've been using, it's just uh, Dacron uh, fishing line, all it is. Uh, this one here is um, 180 pound test you can use a lot of them say just use this one here. I think it's an 80 pound test uh, You can use that but it's a little little thin for me. I like to a little bit thicker. So this is a 180 pound test So to start off all we're gonna do is taking uh, Just grab one of our There's really no 
center on this net, so, um, or alignment. So we're just gonna take on one of our loops here, take the end of our, I got about 10 foot of washing or, or Dacron, and we're just gonna do an improved uh, clinch knot. Probably just do about two wraps on it, usually do about five, I was gonna do about two or three. All right, and then, then we'll take and cut that and then burn the end off. So to get started, we come from the inside, of that very last hole. And then we'll come back through this, that's what this groove is for, come back through there and then go into that same loop there, pull that tight. And then we'll go back out over top of the net and then back out the same hole. All right, we got it all the way around now. Um, when you're doing these, the one I was just actually doing, I pulled a little too tight. You can cut through this rubber mesh, I found out with this spring. So just don't pull too tight, but try to keep it fairly snug. So then here at the end, we're just gonna pull this tight here. And then we're just gonna come here and grab a, underneath this string here, there's a knot in here. I put one where it'll slip down on that string there. All right guys, so we got these all finished up. Uh, Actually, you can see I did quite a few. I actually did seven of them, just kind of trial and error, uh, trying to learn how to make them. So there's the finish. This one here is uh, Paduke with uh, maple. This one here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's kind of the same Paduke, but then on the handle, I inlaid a little bit of uh, uh, lace wood down here in the bottom. These are the uh, walnut. And then this one here actually has a hook on it with a magnet. And then another for Duke, another walnut. And I did a couple different styles here. I haven't got the nets on these two yet, but these are both um, lace wood on the handles. One of them I did the Paduke in the middle with the walnut on the outer part. And then this one here is kind of just the opposite. It's the lace wood on the handle and then walnut on the interior too. And then the paduke on the outer edge here. So still they put the net in these two here, but that's what they look like without the net on them. So guys, appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.